Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming to tonight's uh, Disability Day of Mourning stream. Um, I am here with a couple of I'm here with a couple of different folks who are going to be reading for us tonight, and I'm grateful to all of you for being here. I only have the closed captions turned on for um, myself, as I'm anticipating that there won't be a ton of other things that are being said by our other lovely participants. I could be totally wrong. Who knows? Um, but I also didn't want to take up too much real estate on the screen. I wanted to focus on the topic at hand. Um, but just briefly here for a moment, could we say some hellos and do some introductions for our other readers tonight? Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Bip. So I'll be helping with reading and uh, modding the chat tonight. Hello, Bips. everybody. I'm I'm Trans Capybara, and I'll be reading some of the entries here tonight. We also have a uh, another moderator who's around. I don't know if she would like to say hello. There we go in the chat. Mirami is here, helping to moderate the stream tonight. Um, yeah. So thank you all for coming this evening. Um, please do continue to take good care of yourself throughout the night. Um, if, if consuming this amount of pain is more than you can stand, feel free to lurk or just turn your device off and walk away. If you really want to catch up on the rest of it later, there will be a, a replay of it on YouTube, um, on my, my YouTube channel. Um, and this event is going to be pretty similar similar to Trans Day of Remembrance. Uh, we are going to read through details of what happened to these uh, various disabled folks. Um, so there will be some details um, because I think it helps humanize people. There are pictures of folks when when they're with their families or or by themselves. Um, I don't think there, I, I, from what I saw, I don't think there are gruesome photos. So if anyone's worried about that, I think that is not a thing, but I haven't looked at every single person individually yet. So, but probably uh, not. Usually October, it will say photo unavailable. Yes, I am through October. And so far it's just portraits of folks. Okay. Thanks for checking that Bips. Bips is so good at doing all of the helpful things. I love it. Um, so what else do I want to say here? Oh, yes, we are also um, using this. So this event is raising awareness about some of the awful things that happen, not only here in the United States, but also around the world. Um, and so we we wanted to, if you would like to put your, if you're, if you'd like to, and you're able, because not everyone is able, but if you'd like to, and you're able to put your money where your heart is, um, there is an opportunity to donate to the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network. And so that's what the bar is. I'm a little bit reversed here. That's what the bar is there in the middle of the screen. Um, and so if you would like to support um, autistic people, being able to advocate for themselves, get out of bad situations, um, get laws passed that protect them, etc., that is one concrete action you can take based on the feelings of doing this heavy emotional work tonight. So again, please do take good care of yourselves. Um, I think I see on my little video over here that Capybara is holding our cat. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, and how this is going to work is the readers are going to read through the, the months, um, starting with me and we'll rotate through who's doing which thing. Um, and it may be imperfect and we may take a pause and drink some water and take a deep breath. And, you know, we do have a, a helper who can tap in if really needed. Um, so we're just going to take it slow and take care of ourselves. For me personally, I'm noticing that I need to take some painkillers. So I'm going to do that before we get started. Um, but yeah, you also just reminders to take deep breaths. Go ahead, Capybara. Um, the descriptions, uh, the details 
of how these folks um, died get graphic. So, you know, the appropriate trigger warnings on hearing the details of how these folks have, have perished. Um, and uh, take take appropriate care of yourselves if you if you hear too many details. But we feel that it's a uh, it's one of those things that is important to know. And so there, thank you for that. Um, so for those just joining us, there is there are a couple of commands that I hopefully remember to put in the title of the stream. So I think any of us could type them in to kind of explain what's happening here. But today's March 1st, which is International Day, Disability Day of Mourning. Today we mourn the loss of disabled folks murdered by their family and caregivers, those meant to keep us safe, those meant to love us, who harm us out of ableism, out of fear of becoming us, and hatred of us. And that is a direct quote from the Sam Wisest, who's a disability advocate over on Twitter. Um... Yeah. And you know what? If you can't donate, that is totally okay. Um, I I know that the the Venn diagram of especially people who are disabled and those who have money is like almost two separate circles. Um, and that is part of the oppression of disability is often people who are disabled are not the ones with money because capitalism is not about disability at all. So, yes, that is totally fine. Please do not feel feel guilty at all. Uh, if you cannot donate, that's okay. Yes, appreciate y'all being here for whatever amount of time you can. That's right. Okay, so I am going to start with the first month, and I think it looks like Capybara is going to do February, and then Bips will do March, and we'll keep rotating in that manner. Disability Day of Mourning. Remembering people with disabilities murdered by their families. The first person we have is Henko Nade, and again... Apologies if I goof up people's name pronunciations. We're all just going to do our best. So Henko died January 16th, 2020 at age 17. Uh, the cause of death was a multiple murder. Location was Secunda, South Africa. Um, the disability was muscular dystrophy. The other victims were Lizelle Nade, 52, and Tina Nade, 83. When 17-year-old Henko researched the symptoms of his disability, his father got angry. He shot Henko, his mother, and his grandmother in their beds and then killed himself. Henko was a gifted high school student and an excellent chess player. Perpetrator was the father. Taking a deep breath. Thomas Valva died December 17, 2020, age 8. Cause of death was abuse. Long Island, New York, USA, autism. Thomas lived with his father and his father's fiance. He and his brothers were often starved and made to sleep in an unheated garage. One freezing night, Thomas died from hypothermia. Thomas was a friendly, well-liked second grader who enjoyed playing outside. When he was two, he spoke his first words, ball and go, while playing with a therapist rolling a ball back and forth. He also liked puzzles. Perpetrator was the father, the father's girlfriend, and they were charged with second-degree murder. I'm just going to take a deep breath after each one of these. Samantha Roberts died January 17th, 2020, at the age of 20. Cause of death, murder. Nakusa, Wisconsin, USA. Cerebral palsy, non-speaking. Samantha was bludgeoned to death by her mother's boyfriend. She liked to go on walks with her grandfather. When she was a little girl, she liked Animal Planet and Dr. Seuss books. The perpetrator was the mother's boyfriend, who was charged with first-degree intentional homicide. John Miller III died January 17, 2020, at age 30. Cause of death was neglect in Lansing, Michigan, USA, down syndrome with autistic traits. Don John's parents neglected him until one day his father called the police and explained that his son was dead. 
John's body was found on his bed, extremely emaciated, dirty, and covered in bed sores. He had not seen a doctor in nine years. His death was ruled to be caregiver neglect. Perpetrator was the father and the mother, both charged with second degree murder and second degree vulnerable adult abuse. Um, I just had a suggestion from Capybara that perhaps we should say what is remembered lives between the months like we did for Trans Day of Remembrance, and I think that's a good idea. Um, I'm also not keeping up with the chat right now because I'm reading. Next we have Dustin Baggett, <clears throat> who died January 18th, 2020 at age 15 of murder in Florissant, Missouri, USA of autism. Dustin was pulled out of his burning house by firefighters, but died a day later in the hospital. The fire was investigated and shown to be arson, set by a man who lived in his house. Dustin's neighbors had long been worried about how he and the other children in his house were being treated. They called authorities repeatedly. Dustin, though nonverbal, was a friendly boy and constantly smiling. A neighbor remembers, we all took, we all kind of took him in, knowing he needed our love. Perpetrator was a household member charged with first degree arson and murder. James Tate, January 19th, 2020, age 74, cause of death murder, West Town, Chicago, Illinois, USA. The disability was unspecified, but James used a walker after a recent arm and heart surgery. James and his wife had told their son that he wasn't allowed in the house if he was drunk, but his son came home drunk anyway, and when he, they confronted him about it, his son stabbed him to death and tried to kill his wife, who survived. The perpetrator was the son charged with first-degree murder. Next up, we have someone named Ishanth. Died January 28th, 2020. Age of death, three cause of death, fatal abuse. This was in Korkupit, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. Disability was intellectual disability, mobility impairment, unspecified disorder of the nerves. When her son was taken to the hospital, Ishant's mother claimed that he had tripped and fallen while playing. He died of his injuries three days later. However, the autopsy, autopsy and investigation found that he could not have tripped because he could not walk yet. The mother admitted during questioning that she had beaten him because she did not want a child with a disability. Perpetrator was the mother charged with murder. Next up is Rosalia Garofalo, who died January 29th, 2020, at the age of 52. The cause of death was abuse. The location was in Marsala, Sicily, Italy, and the disability was a stroke. Rosalia had been abused by her husband many times over the years of her marriage. Her husband beat her to death over the course of three days. God, three days. Jesus. Perpetrator was the husband charged with murder. Now we have Jordan Barrera who died on January 31st, 2020. Cause of death was neglect. Location, Bay City, Texas, USA. Disability, Down Syndrome. Jordan was found dead in her bed when police were called for a welfare check to her mother's house. The mother was arrested and her two younger siblings were taken into foster care. Perpetrator was the mother charged with felony, child abandonment, and endangerment. Taking a deep breath. Okay, that's it for January. So now we can all say together, what is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Uh, so this is February's um, list of folks. Um, first person is Masatoshi Chiba. Died on February 2nd, 2020 at the age of 74. Cause of death was murder. Location is Kensunuma Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. The disability unspecified chronic disease. Masatoshi was strangled by his wife, who said she was worn out from looking after him. 
The perpetrator was the wife arrested and confessed to murder. Oops. Uh, Mark. No, I didn't. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, sorry. Next is uh, Makisha Maynard. Died on February 9th, 2020, at the age of eight. Cause of death was a murder suicide. Location is Caroni, Trinidad, and Tobago. Disability is autism. Makisha's father beat her to death with a cutlass because she wet the bed. He hung himself the next day. Makisha knew her numbers, colors, and shapes, but had trouble writing. The perpetrator was the father. Next is a five-year-old girl, name unknown. Died February 10th, 2020. Cause of death is murder. Location is Mar Marietta, Georgia, USA. Disability is unspecified, but she used a, they used a breathing tube. This little five-year-old girl was strangled by her mother. Perpetrator was the mother charged with murder. Aggravated, aggravated assault and child cruelty. Next person is Derek Kristoff. Died on February 14th, 2020 at the age of 40. Cause of death was abuse. Location is Baton Rouge, Louisiana, USA. Disability is developmental disability. Derek's father, who is regularly, regularly abusive, beat him to death with a broom handle. Derek died of internal bleeding. Perpetrator is the father, charged with second degree murder. Next person is David Alsop. Died on February 15, 2020, at the age of 67. Cause of death is abuse, Haitian Derby, England, UK, and the disability was dementia. David was exploited by a woman who moved in with him as his caregiver. She beat him on a regular basis and told his friends and family that the bruises were from falls. The beatings eventually killed him. David leaves behind a twin sister. The perpetrator was the caregiver and roommate. Next person is Cherith van der Plegg. Died February 15th, 2020 at the age of 60. Cause of death is murder. Location, Costasy, Norwich, England, UK and the disability is terminal lung cancer. Harris was dying of cancer when her ex-husband smothered her to death. His actions, Harris' daughter told the court, had robbed her of precious time with her mother. Instead of grieving normally after her mother's natural death on hospice care, she had to come to terms with her mother's death while grieving evidence to police about her murder giving evidence to police about her murder. Cherith was an introverted, family-oriented woman who always waved and greeted her neighbors when she saw them. The perpetrator is uh, Cornelius, or sorry, the perpetrator was her ex-husband pleaded guilty to murder and sentenced to six years to life. Next person is Chaba Curry, died on February 18th, 2020, at the age of 60. Cause of death is murder. Location, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Disability is partial paralysis. Chaba was stabbed to death by her husband. 
perpetrator was the husband who was arrested. Next person is Marvet Gurgis. Died on February 22nd, 2020, at the age of 58. Cause of death is murder. Location, Merrick, New York, USA. Disability, rheumatoid arthritis. Marvit and her husband got into an argument over sink repairs, which her husband escalated by strangling her to death. The perpetrator was her husband charged with intentional murder. And please say after me, what is remembered lives? What is, what remembered, is remembered lives? lives? Next, we have Michiko Hayashi, died March 3rd, 2020, at the age of 72. Cause of death was murder-suicide in Akashi Hyoga Prefecture, Japan. Michiko's disability was dementia. Her son stabbed her to death. Shoko Takahashi, died March 4th, 2020, at the age of 82. Cause of death was abuse. Location was Hiratsuka, Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. Disability was unspecified. Shoko was bedridden. Her son beat her to death because she wouldn't take her medicine. Perpetrator was her son arrested on suspicion. Mitsuo Oshima died March 7, 2020 at the age of 72. Cause of death was murder in Saitama, Japan. Mitsuo's disability was unspecified, um, but he did require a caregiver. His wife killed him. She said she was tired of being his caregiver. Grace Kaldenberg died March 8th, 2020 the age of 79 as a result of a murder-suicide in Texas City, Texas, in the USA. Grace was an elder nursing home resident, and she was shot by her husband in a murder-suicide. Heather Wagoner died March 11th, 2020, at the age of 41 in a murder-suicide in Lakeland, Florida, USA. Heather had multiple sclerosis. She was going through divorce proceedings with her husband when he shot her dead and then killed himself. A friend describes Heather as a daddy's girl with a Georgia Southern accent, a doting mother to her grown daughter, who never judged others and would drop everything to help someone in need. She was a talented photographer whose favorite subject was the best moments of people's lives. She worked for Geico. Perpetrator was her estranged husband. Rajan Kushwa died March 24th, 2020. Cause of death was murder in Kampur, Uttar Pradesh, India. Rajan's disability was unspecified. She'd been married to her husband because he promised to care for her if he got a dowry. Her husband liked to drink, and one day when he wanted drinking money, he became angry at her that he wasn't getting more dowry money, and so he beat her to death with a brick. Perpetrator was her husband, who was arrested. Princess Chapman, also known as Princess P.C. Richards Chapman, died March 27th, 2020, at the age of 86, as a result of murder in Newport News, Virginia, United States. Unspecified disability, wheelchair user. Princess, nicknamed P.C., was shot by her husband. She was an, an ordained minister and worked as a dental assistant. Perpetrator, her husband, was charged with second-degree murder. Jeff 
Josias Marquez died March 31st, 2020, at the age of five. Cause of death was neglect. Location, Howard, Wisconsin, USA. Josiah's disability was cerebral palsy. Um, he was blind. He had epilepsy. His body was found in the trunk of his mother's car after she was arrested for neglecting his siblings, ages two and six. His exact cause of death is unknown, but it is probable that he died from either malnutrition or from a fatal seizure. His mother admitted to not giving him his seizure medication. Perpetrator, his mother was charged with child neglect, resulting in death, hiding a corpse, child neglect, and forgery. Repeat after me. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. lives. So next we have Gladys Ambert, April 7th, 2020. Age of death, 27. Cause of death, abuse. From Orlando, Florida, USA. Gladys was deaf, had cerebral palsy, and an intellectual disability. Gladys' mother abandoned her when she was two years old, but grandmother took her in and lovingly raised her. At 26 years old, Gladys went to stay with younger relatives, an aunt and two cousins. But her aunt and cousins beat her, tied her up, and cupped her in filthy conditions. She died from abuse and neglect, and they discarded her body and tried to pretend she had run away from home. Her body was found on the twenty on her twenty seventh birthday, and an autopsy concluded that she had suffocated while being restrained, her body compressed too much for her to breathe. Perpetrator was the aunt, charged with first degree murder, aggravated manslaughter, aggravated abuse of a disabled person, neglect and abuse of a disabled person. Uh, the cousin was charged with neglect and abuse of a disabled person. Another cousin charged with fabricating evidence and providing false information to an officer investigating a missing person. Next, we have Ruth Brown, who died April 11th, 2020, at the age of 52. Ruth was bludgeoned. Uh, location, Bognor, England, UK. Disability, COPD, and chronic back pain. Ruth died after being bludgeoned with a plastic tray. Her partner sent a text message to his brother reading, in part, I've killed Ruth, and told police that he didn't remember killing her because he had been drunk, but that he must have killed her because nobody else could have done it. Ruth was the center of her family, an outgoing woman who could talk on the phone for hours. She volunteered for MIND and other mental health charities. Her family is raising money for Memorial Plaque. Uh, the partner was charged with murder. Sir Shendu Malik uh, died April 18th, 2020, the age of 45 of murder uh, in Kolkata, India, and had a physical disability. Sir Shendu's father strangled him because he would not put on a face mask when he left the house. So the father was charged with murder. Ramdas Dahikar. Ramdas Ishwar Dahikar died April 21st, 2020, at the age of 47. The cause of death was murder. Location New Delhi, Delhi, India, and the disability was unspecified. Ramdas' wife and her boyfriend poisoned him and tried to report it as a natural death, but when the police questioned her, she admitted to murder. So the wife and her boyfriend were both charged with murder. Damien Scott died April 26, 2020, at the age of 43. The cause of death was murder. Location, Bloomington, Bloomingdale, excuse me, Illinois, USA. Disability, blind and unable to walk. Scott's uncle strangled him to death. An autopsy found that he had survived at least one previous strangulation attempt. Dominic Taylor, uh, the uncle, was charged with first-degree murder. Asma Akhtar uh, died April 26, 2020, at the age of 30. The cause of death was neglect. The location was Ghazi Ghazipur, Bangladesh, and the disability 
was a developmental disability. Asma's family chained her up, then left her alone at home. An electrical fire destroyed the home, killing Asma. Perpetrator was a family member. Isabel Rosen died April 28, 2020, at the age of 26. The cause of death was murder. Chicago, Illinois, USA. Schizoaffective disorder. Isabel's husband smothered her. He said he was trying to restrain her during a drug-induced psychotic episode, but at autopsy, she tested negative for drugs. Isabel was an avid reader. Perpetrator was the husband who was charged with first-degree murder. Kathy Erbeldig died April 30th, 2020, at the age of 63. The cause of death was murder. Location was Elizabethtown, Kentucky, USA, and Kathy was legally blind. Kathy's daughter and an unrelated man stole $700 from her bank account, which they used to buy a gun with, which they murdered her. Perpetrator was the daughter and this other man, who were both charged with murder, robbery, and abuse of a corpse. Let's all take a deep breath. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. And next person is Carolyn Walker. Uh, name is Carolyn Mos Mosley Walker. Died May 4th, 2020. Age of death is 86. Cause of death, murder, suicide. Location, Madison, North Carolina, USA. Disability is Alzheimer's disease and heart disease. Carolyn's husband shot her in a murder-suicide. Before her retirement, she worked as head of human resources for ExxonMobil. She had no children of her own, so she became a second grandmother to her great nieces and great nephew. Every Christmas, she would go to visit her extended family, bringing gifts, teaching them card games, and making cheese crackers and homemade fudge. Perpetrator was her husband. Person is Louise Smith. Died May 8, 2020, at the age of 16. Cause of death is murder. Location Havant, Hampshire, England, UK. Disability is mental illness. Louise's uncle killed her by punching her in the face repeatedly until she died. Louise described the murder as sexually motivated. The perpetrator was the uncle charged, uh, convicted of murder, sentenced to 25 years to life. Next person is Abigail Humes. <clears throat> full, full name of Abigail Gabriella Humes. Died May 10th, 2020. Age of death is six. Cause of death, abuse. Location, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, USA. And the uh, disability is unspecified. Abigail's father re regularly beat her. She died from internal injuries and her autopsy showed broken ribs. Abigail's nickname was Cake, or Cupcake. She was a fan of Disney's Doc McStuffins and PJ Masks. She liked to play with her younger sister named Mary. The perpetrator was the father, charged with murder and child abuse, and the mother, charged with neglect of a minor. Next person is a 10-year-old girl. Name is unknown. Died on May 17, 2020, and the body was found on May 21st. Age of death is 10. Cause of death, murder. Location, Jaipur, Rajasthan, India. And the disability is intellectual disability. This 10-year-old girl's brother gathered some friends, and together they raped and strangled her. 
He told police that he felt she was a burden because she could not do household chores. The perpetrator was uh, four brothers arrested on suspicion of murder. You know, a brother and three friends arrested on suspicion of murder. Uh, person is uh, Umesh Balagi, died on May 18th, 2020. Age at death was an adult. Cause of death, murder. Location is Darwad, Karnataka, India. Disability is unspecified. Ramesh's brother gathered a group of men, ambushed him as he rode his three-wheeled scooter to go shopping, and bludgeoned him to death. The motive was a dispute over property. The killer also chased Umesh's wife, who witnessed the attack. He escaped unhurt. The perpetrator was the brother and several accomplices charged with murder. <clears throat> Next person is a 76-year-old woman, name unknown, died May 21st, 2020. The age of 76. Cause of death is murder suicide. Location is Wilmot Township, Michigan, USA. Disability dementia. This 76 year old woman was shot by her husband in a murder suicide. Perpetrator was her husband, age 79. Next person is Alejandro Ripley. Died May 22nd, 2020. Age nine. Cause of death is murder. Location, Miami, Florida, USA. Disability is autism. Alejandro's mother tried to kill him by pushing him into a canal, but some passersby saw the boy fall in and rescued him. Later that day, she pushed him into a different canal. This time, no one saw, and Alejandro drowned. She tried to pass it off as a kidnapping, but when police learned about the earlier murder attempt, she confessed to the lie, and the perpetrator was the mother charged with murder. Next person is Willow Dunn. Died on May 25th, 2020. Age of death at is four. Cause of death is neglect. Location is Brisbane, Aust Queensland, Australia. Disability Down syndrome. Willow's father starved her to death. Her body was found covered in severe bed sores. Perpetrator was the father charged with murder. Next person is an unknown elder woman, unknown name, died May 26, 2020. Age of death was elder, cause of death, murder, suicide. Location, Gold River, California, USA. Disability was an elder nursing home resident. This woman's husband came to the nursing home where she lived her and then shot himself and the perpetrator was her husband. Next person, India Martin, died on May 26, 2020. Age of, age of death is four. Cause of death is abuse. Location, Rock Hill, South Carolina, USA and with an unspecified disability. Born prematurely at 26 weeks and addicted to cocaine, India survived a difficult start in life only to be found dead in a dresser drawer, having been abused or neglected by her mother and her boyfriend. 
The perpetrator was the mom and her boyfriend, both charged by, with homicide by child abuse or neglect. Next person is a six-year-old girl with an unknown name. Died on May 31st, 2020. Age of death was six. Cause of death, murder-suicide. Location, Orange, New Jersey, USA. Disability was unspecified special needs. This little girl was killed by her mother in a murder-suicide. Neighbors said that she had said she was overwhelmed by caring for a special needs child. The perpetrator was her mother. And everyone repeat after me. What is remembered lives. What is is remembered lives. Next, we have Waylon Lee Mittens, died June 2nd, 2020, the age of 39. Cause of death was murder. Location was Blackfeet Indian Reservation, Montana, USA. Waylon was a wheelchair user and a leg amputee. He was stabbed to death by his girlfriend. Twenty-eight-year-old woman died June 3rd, 2020, the age of 28. The cause of death was murder. In Smuts, Nikonyama Informal Settlement, Butterworth, Eastern Cape Province, South Africa. Her disability was unspecified. While her caregiver was away, this 28-year-old woman's brother killed her, leaving her under a blanket with upper body injuries. Medics were called but declared her dead at the scene. Next, we have Esteban, Penelope, Aviel, and Apollo Harless. Esteban was four, Penelope was three, Aviel was one, and Apollo was 11 months. They died June 4th, 2020, in a multiple murder-suicide in San Antonio, Texas, USA. They had special needs. Their parents gassed them with carbon monoxide before committing suicide. They also killed the family's two cats. Billy Hobson died June 7th, 2020, the age of 94. Cause of death was murder in Lewiston, Indiana, USA. Billy had Alzheimer's disease. His son suffocated him because he had no dignity left and he couldn't watch him any longer. Billy fought hard to survive, biting his son on the hand and making it impossible for the killer to pretend he had died in his sleep. The killer, hand bleeding and unnerved by Billy's determination to survive, immediately confessed to his sister and was arrested. The son was charged with first degree murder. Kylie L. Mickens died June 8, 2020, the age of five, as a result of neglect in Buford, Georgia, USA. Kylie had 1P36 deletion syndrome. Kylie died from malnutrition and dehydration due to medical neglect. Her disability made it difficult for her to swallow, but her parents did not take her to the doctor, and she starved to death, weighing only seven pounds. Perpetrators were the parents, who were both charged with felony murder and first-degree cruelty to children. Joshua Jackson J.J. Vallow died June 10th, 2020, after being last seen on September 23rd, 2019. He was seven years old, time of death and the cause of death was murder in Rexburg, Idaho, USA. JJ had autism. His mother and stepfather killed him and his 17-year-old half-sister, Tylee Ryan, 
They tried to cover up the children's deaths by claiming they were homeschooling or that the children were staying with relatives. But their grandparents became worried and asked for a welfare check, and the children were declared missing. A storage locker was found, full of the siblings' possessions. Finally, their bodies were found on their stepfather's property. The stepfather was charged with two counts of destruction, alteration, and concealment of evidence. The mother was charged with desertion and non-support of dependent children, resisting or obstructing officers, criminal solicitation to commit a crime, contempt of court, and willful disobedience of court process or order. Emi Yamamoto died June 13, 2020, at the age of 44. Cause of death was murder in Yokoichi, Mie Prefecture, Japan. Her disability was unspecified. Emmy's mother took her to a hotel and drowned her in the bath. She claimed she wanted to ease Emmy's suffering. The mother was arrested on suspicion of murder. Cheryl Martin, Cheryl Bud Martin, died June 14th, 2020, at the age of 71. Cause of death was murder. Location, Wilmington, Illinois, USA. Uh, Bud was, uh, Bud used a walker, um, disability unspecified. Uh, he and his ex-sister-in-law had been arguing for a few days, an argument she ended by beating him around the head with his own walker. He was able to tell police who had beaten him before dying a few hours later. His ex-sister-in-law was charged with aggravated battery. April Zavala died June 14th, 2020, at the age of 24. Cause of death was murder in Elko, Nevada, USA. April had autism. Her mother strangled her because she wanted to dress herself instead of letting her mother dress her. She said that caring for April during the COVID pandemic had become too stressful. At the time of her death, April had not seen a doctor in several years. The mother was charged with first-degree murder. Kylie Larson died June 21st, 2020, at the age of 13, as a result of medical neglect in Painesville, Minnesota, USA. Kylie had perinatal hypoxic had a perinatal hypoxic brain injury. Um, her mother, alone with her because her stepfather was on a fishing trip and her brother was staying with friends, ignored alarms from her blood oxygen and heart rate monitor, repeatedly turning off the alarms reducing the sensitivity, and eventually removing it altogether. Kylie died of respiratory failure. She was a middle school student whose schoolmates often pushed her around the halls to hear her laugh. She liked going outside, especially to new places. She enjoyed boat rides and spinning around in her wheelchair. Perpetrator was her mother, who was charged with second-degree intentional murder and second-degree manslaughter. Frederick Johnson died June 25, 2020, at the age of 43, as a result of abuse in Chicago, Illinois, USA. Frederick had schizoaffective disorder and epilepsy. Frederick lived with a couple who were supposed to care for him in exchange for his disability payments. His caregivers abused him, beating him and forcing him to do exercises for hours. When they beat him to death, they paid a friend to help hide the body. One caregiver was charged with first-degree murder. The other was charged with first-degree murder and neglect as a caregiver. The friend was also charged with uh, first-degree murder. Repeat after me. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Nicole Dracubek, full name Nicole Gail Dracubek, died 
July 5th, 2020, the age of 54, cause of death was murder in Redmond, Oregon, USA, of, and the disability was multiple sclerosis. Nicole was a widow when she met her new boyfriend, but they broke up because he would not go to rehab. Her ex-boyfriend was arrested after a car accident while driving Nicole's car, which he had stolen. Nicole herself was found dead at her house. The ex-boyfriend was charged with second-degree murder, drunk driving, criminal mischief, and second-degree assault. Diana Rosalie died July 9th, 2020, the age of 51. Cause of death, murder-suicide. Location, Youngstown, Ohio, USA. Disability, cerebral palsy. Diana's mother shot her in a murder-suicide. The perpetrator was the mother. Clara Wright died July 10th, 2020, at age 72. Cause of death was murder. Location was Dakota, Minnesota, USA. Disability was dementia. Clara's husband stabbed her to death. He claimed he could not watch her suffer. Perpetrator, the husband, was charged with second-degree murder. Lemarion Thomure died July 15, 2020, the age of four. Cause of death was murder in St. Louis, Illinois, USA. The disability was autism. Lemarion was beaten to death by her mother's boyfriend. He was a charming, handsome little boy who lightened up when he was in it. He'd make you smile even on your bad days. He loved being outdoors and playing with family. The mother's boyfriend was charged with first-degree murder. Ryu Sakayama died July 17, 2020, the age of 17. The cause of death was murder in Kyoto, Japan. Disability was an unspecified mental disability. Ryu's mother strangled him as he slept. She said she was tired of caring for him. The mother was charged with murder. Next we have Sarah Curran, age, or excuse me, died July 23rd, 2020, at age 22, cause of death, choked, drowned, stabbed, and bludgeoned. From Winchester, Virginia, USA, Sarah had Asperger syndrome. Sarah's ex-boyfriend allegedly killed her by choking, drowning, stabbing, and bludgeoning. They had recently broken up. At 10 years old, Sarah gave out Pop-Tarts to people waiting at a local bus stop. As a teen, she was a Special Olympic swimmer, bowler, and roller skater and rode on a float in the Shenandoah Apple Blossom Festival. She volunteered at a local food and clothing pantry. She loved animals, so she volunteered at the animal shelter. As an adult, she used to spend her social security check on buying people steak dinners at a restaurant. When she moved out, her family worried that she would be taken advantage of because of her kind and trusting nature. Sarah was living in a homeless encampment when she died. She had strong political opinions backing the Affordable Care Act on social media. Case status. The ex-boyfriend was charged with first-degree murder, stabbing in commission of a felony, concealment of a body, and conspiracy to concealment. Another person was charged with concealment of a body, declared mentally unfit for trial, and a second evaluation has been ordered by the judge. Next, we have Thaddeus Sran. Thaddeus died July 23rd, 2020, at age 2. Cause of death was murder. Location was Fresno, California, USA. The disability was due to prematurity, non-speaking, and used a feeding tube. Police grew suspicious when Thaddeus's parents reported him missing, but almost immediately stopped cooperating with the missing child investigation. A few days later, Thaddeus' burned body was found and they were charged with murder. Both of the parents were charged with murder. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Next we have Joe Pooley. Died on August 7th, 2018. 
Age of death is 22. Cause of death, murder. Location, Ipswich, England, UK. Uh, disability, autism. Joe's girlfriend encouraged three of her friends while they beat Joe up, threw him into the river, and held his head under until he drowned. Perpetrator was two other people, girlfriend and another friend, all charged with murder. Next is Dylan Freeman. He died on August 16, 2020, at the age of 10. Died of suffocation in Acton, West London, England, UK. And Dylan had Cohen syndrome and autism. Dylan's mother admitted to drugging him, then suffocating him. Dylan's father says Dylan was a beautiful bright, inquisitive, and artistic child who loved to travel, visit art galleries, and swim. He often took his son on vacation overseas. His mother pleaded guilty to manslaughter on grounds of diminished responsibility and was detained indefinitely at a psychiatric hospital. Next is Leslie Hartman. Full name is Leslie Lynn Hartman. He died on August 26, 2020. They were 46 years old uh, of murder uh, from Denton, Texas, USA. And he had a paralysis and she was a wheelchair user. Leslie's boyfriend, a sheriff's deputy, shot her, then claimed she had shot herself. Instant messages show that they were arguing about him shooting a milk bottle in the backyard. Later messages include a picture of him holding a pistol and a message police say refers to him shooting her. He also wiped his phone before police could take it into evidence. Leslie was a nature lover who cared about the environment. He was an artist that made stained glass and jewelry. She was excited about getting a new puppy. Her last text talked about how gorgeous the rain was. The perpetrator was the boyfriend charged with murder and tampering with evidence. Next is Donna Harbor. Her name is Donna Joanne Harbor. Guy, uh, actually, this is someone else's name to read. Uh, please repeat after me. What is remembered lives. What is remembered, what is remembered lives. lives. So next we have Donna Harbor, who died September 1st, 2020, at the age of 81. Cause of death was murder in Bell, California, USA. Donna had dementia and her husband shot. The husband was charged with murder. Shanti died September 2nd, 2020, at the age of 48 in a murder-suicide in Pudukatai, Tamil Nadu, India. Shanti had an intellectual disability. Her father poisoned her and himself. Neighbors heard Shanti screaming and rushed her to the hospital, but it was too late, and she died. Police said he was worried about providing for her. Yuko Shinya died September 4th, 2020, at the age of 76. Cause of death was murder in Saitama, Japan. Yoko had a chronic disease. Her son strangled her as she lay in her hospital bed. Hospital staff saw him trying to kill her and intervened, but she'd been badly hurt and died hours later. Her son told police he couldn't bear watching and wanted to make her comfortable. The son was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. Oh, 
Kwak Lun Wong died September 5th, 2020, at the age of 21. Cause of death was murder in Hong Kong, China. Fat Lun had an intellectual disability. His mother strangled him with a plastic tablecloth. He was a student at Sui Sin Tong School, a residential care home for children with intellectual disabilities. At age 21, he had just grown too old to stay there. His mother was arrested on suspicion of murder. Nancy Arnold died September 5th, 2020, the age of 78. The cause of death was murder in Scottsdale, Arizona, USA. Nancy was a wheelchair user, disability unspecified. Her brother fatally shot her, then tried to kill himself. Her brother recovered from his injuries and was arrested, but Nancy died at the scene. The brother was charged with first-degree murder. An unknown woman died September 10th, 2020. Cause of death was murder in Taiwan City, Taiwan. Disability was stroke and paralysis. This woman was in the hospital for a urinary tract infection when her husband smothered her. She died five days afterward. The husband was charged with murder. Pauline Lankford died September 15, 2020, at the age of 87. Cause of death was neglect. Location was Blythe, Georgia, USA. Pauline had dementia. Her family left her sitting on a chair in the living room. They did not feed her, bathe her, or give her medication. She died from dehydration, malnutrition, and multiple infected pressure sores. The son-in-law was charged with neglect of a disabled adult, and the daughter was also charged. A three-year-old girl died September 20th, 2020. The cause of death was murder in Cheris Village, Wasangishu County, Kenya. Her disability was unspecified. She was killed by her parents, who had before then been locking her in the house alone. They said they killed her because she was a nuisance and to save their love. The parents were both charged with murder. R. Devaraju died September or October 10th. I did. <laughs> Uh, everyone repeat after me. What is remembered lives. What is remembered what lives. What is remembered lives. Our Devaraju died October 10th, 2020 at age 59. Cause of death was murder. Location was Kampung Baru Sungai Chua, Selangor, Malaysia, and the disability was blind. Details. R was murdered by his wife and his wife's brother, who hit him on the head with a hammer and then claimed that he had been killed by a burglar. The two wanted to inherit his assets. He owned a scrap metal and transportation business. The uh, wife and the wife's brother were both charged with murder. Next is Mahal Maha Lakshmi. Maha Lakshmi. Died October 17th, 2020, at age 7. Cause of death was murder. Location, Ch Chhatrapati, Tamil Nadu, India. Disability was paralysis, unspecified, non-speaking, and mobility impaired. Mahalakshmi's father smothered her because she because having to take care of her made it difficult for him and his wife to go to work. The father was accused of murder. Um, 12 year old girl, name unknown, died October 17th, 2020, at age 12. Cause of death was murder. 
location Moti Bakar Don Tiwanda Tessil Gujarat, India. Disability was deaf. This 12 year old girl was raped and murdered by her cousin. The cousin was arrested on suspicion of murder. Saeed Nielsen, October 23rd, 2020. Age of death 14. Cause of death abuse. Location is Nashville, Tennessee, USA. The disability is autism. Saeed's stepbrother punched and kicked him in the head. His mother told him his, told his stepbrother to stop, but then walked away without actually checking to make sure he had stopped. When Saeed died, they claimed he had fallen in the shower, but his injuries were inconsistent with the fall. Saeed loved Star Wars and Halloween. He never missed a day walking his dog Chloe, rain or shine. The mother and the stepbrother brother were charged with criminal homicide, aggravated child abuse, and evidence tampering. 46-year-old man, name unknown, died October 28, 2020, age of death 46, cause of death neglect, location Racine, Wisconsin, USA, disability, traumatic brain injury and physical injuries from childhood motor vehicle accident. This 46-year-old man lived with his mother, who cared for him. When he fell, she did not call for help. Instead, she dragged him to the bathroom and waited for days without calling for help. Concerned family members had been unable to reach him or his mother and finally asked the police to do a welfare check. He was found dead on his bathroom floor, and his mother was arrested. She said that she didn't want to take him to the hospital, even though she knew he probably had broken bones and wanted him to die a peaceful death. The mother was charged with negligently subject to mother charged with negligently subject an individual at risk to abuse causing death, obstructing an officer and disorderly conduct. What is remembered lives. What is, what is remembered, remembered lives. lives. Next is Vincent Avellino, died on November 2nd, 2020, age of death of 83, from an infection. Location, Ranshaw, Pennsylvania, USA. His disability was dementia. Vincent died because he developed a massive pressure sore that ultimately killed him. Reportedly, he had left in place, he had been left in place in his chair for over a month. His wife, with whom he lived, was trained as a home health aide. Home health aides like Vincent's wife are trained in bed sore prevention and taught how dangerous it is not to move a patient for extended periods of time. Vincent was a retired factory worker who loved the outdoors. He liked hunting, fishing, crabbing, mushroom and berry picking, and grew a garden. He was a good baker and winemaker. He liked antiques and going to yard sales and collected coins. He loved long car rides and milkshakes. He had nine grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Wife was charged with involuntary manslaughter and neglect. Next is uh, Jamarian Delancey. Full name is Jamarian Javante Delancey. Died November 18th, 2020. Age of death of five. From internal injuries. Location in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Disability blind with developmental disability and used leg braces. Jamarian's mother was at the hospital having a baby. She left Jamarian and his big sister with her boyfriend. The following day, Jamarian was brought to the hospital, unconscious and bleeding internally, and died hours later. Police arrested Jamarian's mother's boyfriend. 
He is accused of fatally beating Jamarian while his seven-year-old sister watched. Uh, the case status is the mother's boyfriend was charged with abuse or neglect of a child causing death and unlawful possession of a firearm. Next is Thomas Grudil. He died November 20th, 2020. He is an elder, and he died of blunt force trauma. Locations, Wilmington, North Carolina, USA. And is, he had an unspecified disability and was confined to bed. Thomas's son is charged with beating him to death as he lay in his bed. Son was charged with first degree murder. Next is William and Eric Smithson. William was 54 and Eric was 78. Uh, William's disability was uh, unspecified special needs and Eric's disability was a chronic, chronic illness of a, and a frail elder. They died on November 24th, 2020 from a shooting. The location is Claremont, Florida, USA. Eric and his son William lived with his wife. Authorities concluded that Eric's wife shot and killed her husband and son and then killed herself. Please repeat after me. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Next, we have Saburo Sato, who died December 30th, 2020, the age of 73. The cause of death was injuries from assault in Yokohama, Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. Saburo had dementia. His son is accused of beating him in the head and stomach. Police say he admitted to the charge, saying he had lost patience with his father due to his dementia. When Mr. Sato lost consciousness, his son called emergency services, but he was declared dead at the hospital. The son was arrested on suspicion of murder. A five-year-old girl, name unknown, died December 30th, 2020. The cause of death was untreated ruptured intestine due to blunt force trauma. The location was Kampung Sungai Sin. Sinsen, Gombek, Malaysia. Um, the disability was hydrocephalus and uh, she was mobility impaired. The five year old girl's grand aunt is charged with killing her by kicking her in the stomach repeatedly and causing an intestinal rupture, which, untreated, proved fatal. Her father is charged with neglecting her by not taking her to a doctor when she was clearly severely injured. If um, you'll repeat after me, what is remembered lives. What is, what remembered, is remembered lives. Live. So next we have Joan Wheeler, full name Joan Marcella Wheeler, died January eleventh, twenty twenty one, at age eighty seven, of a shooting in Medford, Oregon, USA. Disability was unspecified chronic illness, frail elder. Joan was shot to death. Police say her husband told them that he had shot her because he believed that due to her health problems, she would be better off dead than alive. The husband is charged with second degree murder. Michael Montgomery died January 13th, 2021 age 34 cause of death stabbing in wichita kansas usa disability was unspecified but michael was a wheelchair user when they entered michael's cousin when they encountered michael's cousin police say he was lying on the road in the middle of traffic and confessed to them that he had killed his cousin when they searched his house they found michael's wrapped body in a crawl space 
Michael's caregiver says he was caring, kind, and often talked about how much he loved his family. I know how he is, she says, and how he would tell me you've got to stay strong. Keep that smile on your face. The cousin was charged with first-degree murder. Uh, next is Chadaporn Kam Kiao, who died January 16, 2021, age of death 26, cause of death drowning, location was Chiang Mai, Thailand, disability was a physical disability, wheelchair user, and an intellectual disability. After their bodies were found, police concluded that Chadaporn's mother had pushed Chadaporn's wheelchair to a pond, pushed her daughter into the pond, and followed her, upon which both drowned. The mother committed suicide. Next we have Sonam, who died January 17, 2021. At age 22, Sonam was strangled in Barabanki, Uttar Pradesh, India. Disability was mentally disabled. Sonam, not her real name, a 22-year-old young woman was found dead in a field and her family claimed she had been raped. However, a post-mortem discovered that she had not been raped and police began investigating the family. According to police, Sonam's family admitted that they wanted to get rid of her because she was mentally disabled and they had heard that the families of rape victims were receiving large sums in compensation. After they lured her out to a nearby field, police say, her mother held her, her brother strangled her, and her father served as lookout. Perpetrator, her mother arrested, legal action initiated, her father arrested, legal action initiated, and her brother arrested, legal action initiated. Manu Savalia died January 27th, 2021, at age 75, cause of death mauled by a leopard. Location Amrutpur, Gujarat, India, disability, blind, intellectual disability. Manu's family allegedly chained him to his bed because he had fallen into a well when unattended because he had bitten people and because he bothered the neighbors. One night, Manu's family had gone to a wedding, and one relative left behind went with their domestic helper to go water their fields in the early morning. Manu, a strong man even at the age of 75, was attacked and killed by a leopard, unable to escape or fight back because of the chain. Police are investigating a complaint of wrongful confinement against Manu's family. Guadalupe Martinez or Lupita, died January 28th, 2021, at age 30, cause of death was throat cut. Location, Othello, Washington, USA, disability, autism, intellectual disability. Guadalupe, called Lupita by her family, lived with her mother and her mother's boyfriend. Her mother's boyfriend is accused of killing her mother after an argument, and then, when Guadalupe walked in on the killing, slammed her head against the floor, and cut her throat. Case status. The mother's boyfriend was charged with two counts of first-degree murder and two counts of removal or concealment of a body. Okay. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Next is... Uh... Akantachari died February 1st, 2021, at age 21, uh, from assault. Location is Sanavarsante, Karnataka, India. Disability is a behavioral disorder. Chari's father reported his death as an accident, saying he had fallen from a tree, but a post-mortem examination found that he had died from assault. Father was arrested for murder. Okay. 
Next is Haru Inaba. He died on February 2nd, 2021, at the age of 83. Died of a head injury in Tokyo, Japan. And he had a cognitive impairment and was bedridden. Or she. Mizunaba's adult child allegedly punched her several times in the face and she died from her injuries. Police said they reported being tired of caring for her. The offspring was charged with murder. There is a note at the bottom that says that Megumi and Naba's gender is not consistent in news reports, which is the offspring, for what it's worth. That is the last entry in this list. I invite all of us to take a deep breath. Um, if you've been keeping up with the chat, I'm sure that you've noticed, but we do have a little um, fundraiser going on right now for the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network. Um, if you have a couple of, of bucks to toss that way, uh, the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network is a 501c3 nonprofit organization run by and for autistic people that seeks to advance the principles of the disability rights movement with regards to autism. ASAN believes that the goal of autis autism advocacy should be a world in which autistic people enjoy equal access, rights, and opportunities. And something that we were discussing as a group before we went live is how there aren't even here in the United States, there aren't even uh, laws that protect disabled people uh, consistently in all 50 of the states. And so um, supporting ASAN would be, um, you know, a way to help those who are fighting for the legal protections that disabled people need um, to have full and robust lives. Um, and the other thing I said at the beginning that I'll say now here again towards the end, because I know um, not everyone that was here at the start is here at the finish, um, is also people who are disabled don't always have a lot of money. So if you can't donate, that is totally okay. It's completely understandable. Um, and I'm just grateful for all of you being here. Is there anything that the readers would like to share with folks? I think we need one more. What is remembered lives. Okay. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Well, I want to say a big thank you to Trans Capybara and Bips and Mirami for being um, amazing contributors to this event tonight. Um, this is important and hard work. Um, I'm going to take a minute to see if anyone else is doing any sort of fundraising streams for um, any disability charities tonight. Um, so I'm going to take a minute to do that. I think I'll maybe put a little music on, but if anyone anyone here would like to say anything else to our lovely audience, then this is a good opportunity. I'd like to thank the audience for for sticking around and uh, listening to this and um, reading along with us uh, and remembering these folks that um, died since senseless death. Um, I I hope and wish for a world that this doesn't happen in. And you know, we, it takes everybody to um, you know, support the one you know support those around you to um, to have a world in which that's possible. Yeah, I, I want to thank everybody as well for joining us uh, today. And I also want to take a moment to acknowledge all the people who um, whose names weren't read mm -hmm. tonight. Um, 
Unfortunately, um, reporting of hate crimes against disabled folks is, um, it's not required in a lot of places. And so there's a lot of people who we've lost who we, we, we don't know their names. We don't know their stories. And, uh, so just acknowledging that as well. Mm -hmm. I was definitely thinking about that. Where we're going tonight. You know, I don't even think there's a disability or disabled tag on Twitch, so I'm having a harder time searching for people who might be doing similar things right now. Um, I don't think there is. I think um, Twitch's stance is that they don't want to create a disability tag because they're afraid that it will lead to harassment of creators. It's the same um, argument they use against having, uh, like, I think the trans tag is one like they don't want to do for the same reasons. So um, there's been quite a lot of disability activists on Twitter who've been organizing to try to uh, encourage Twitch to, um, you know, create a disability tag, so. Um, if someone, if I don't know if this has happened because I'm not looking at my overlay, but if someone could do the uh, trans tag command in the stream right quick, that would be awesome. Yeah, I type in Disability Day of Remembrance, and it looks like we're the only people doing the stream for this right now. The bot doesn't seem to want to put it in chat. Okay, I might have turned it off somehow. Um, but it does look like there is someone called The Fat Mermaid who's doing charity for multiple sclerosis. Um, over, let's see, the game's called Last Day on Earth Survival, the team is Twitch Orlando. Um, it looks like they've got a, a fair amount of people in chat, so let's go say hi to a new friend. Again, thank you everyone for being here. Um... I... I really appreciate folks showing up, um, and please take really good care of yourselves this evening. Um, take the the rest you might need. Drink some water. Maybe stretch a little bit. I noticed my body needed to stretch some after all of that. Um, and uh, I I noticed that there were people who donated subscriptions to the channel. Thank you so much for supporting the work that we do here. Um, it encourages me to keep working on stuff like this. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to put an event like this together emotionally. And I, I really do appreciate all of your support tonight. So I hope folks, um, get good self care and, um, we'll be back tomorrow with, uh, we'll do some, some ring fit adventure in the morning. First, the first thing that we do. Uh, to help my body stay less painful, I think I've noticed that when I when I exercise and do those things, I am in less pain than when I do not. Um, and we will see you when we do. Thanks, everybody.